All right, we're gonna be training with this little guy today, so uh, we're hitting back? Yeah, go ahead. All right, you guys are gonna love this. You can do this a couple different ways. Show me your technique. I, I like to switch. I like one set is a straight hand, like we do right now. Okay. Squeezing your back over here. The same thing, right? Engaging your lower and meet trapezius, okay. right here, lowering your shoulders, stretch it, and now bring it back. And the second one is actually a reverse grip. Reverse? Mmm, I like. I like that. And it's good. It feels different. So I guess then there would be instantly already three then, because I like I like the first one you did. So the first one is that you pull it down. So you guys at home, it's an elbow comes back and contracts. So again, you're down, and it's this. Mm -hmm. Then there's the second that I love. That's a real lower lap. Is up and over and contract. This is down, lower back. So it's a lot like the lat spread. So it's a pull from underneath. But again, two different ways, and he just gave me a third, a reverse pull. So I like that. I want to try that one. I haven't done that. Interesting that you show the second one, because it goes against the concept we usually tell our you know clients and friends and everyone. Right? So we're trying to explain them that you actually have to keep your back straight. And in this case, you actually round your back, right? Dropping it. But I guess when you're on a different level of training, right? We're talking about this That's little the adjustments, part. Yeah. right? We're talking about one or two percent difference, you know, which we can achieve because we're trying to concentrate on the feeling, you know, but we definitely recommend it, you know, for people with more advanced level probably, right? You said something earlier. You said when you get advanced well enough, you can do an exercise and then remove a portion of what the typical would work and focus only on that spot that you want. And I try to talk to them about squats and that rotation of like just the hip glute tie-in. And so this would be that thing. And I agree with you. And again, he puts it very articulately. A small percentage of you can connect to the level to where you can change it from this to this. Let's try. And you guys do it. Let's go. So what about weight? So how do you choose your weight? It's gonna be the same weight as I did previously, or it's gonna be a little lower, like how's that? Uh, I find that I can go heavier on the second, on the rotation over, uh -huh. um, because it's such a lower body contraction compared to, it's almost like a power up move. You're just gung-ho in this. Compared to this, it's more of an isolation, a contraction. So you spread your lats yeah. during this move. And you, and you really try to, so the first one, like we were talking about, is, Nice pull back, squeeze. So this is it's that lower lat comes down. Which visually now is completely you can see the difference. Would you say it's kind of like a pullover? Uh, that's that would be my take on it as a pullover. Feel the lower lat. So I don't worry about this now, it's just if you can get right there. And that thing is all the way contracted. Just a couple guys touching his lower back. Nothing's wrong with that. Again, try both, use both. Crazy, right? Crazy, yeah. Beautiful. The last three actually gave me the most, the last three reps basically gave me the whole feeling. Yeah, in the beginning I was trying to, trying you know, to find connect. it, trying yeah, to find, find it. it. And then the last three I'm like, oh, it's right over here. I love when you can train with people. And you can just see it working. On stage. Stretch. Let's get track you through the whole thing. Boy. 
Why are you trying to pinpoint a small muscle like that? Trust me, everything else is flexed if you're focusing on that little detail. Also, you guys enjoy this video because you're watching a guy that's 0.00001% of society and he developed a body like that. And I've been around some of the greatest NBA ball players that are actually shaped well and muscular. And this guy's still two, ten, ten levels above that. Okay, so now we go in oh, I've got to try to reverse grip. tells you that you have to instead of push it down you want to pull it back oh okay you see and it instantly i think tells your mind yeah. instead of doing this guy i'm so strong yeah that kind of says elbow yeah just naturally elbows going backwards right closer to the back. that's enough you're instantly inside you're not worried about this, it's a drag, so it has to come from back there, and it takes that front delta out of it. Because a lot of people are gonna be... Nice one, nice one. Ooh. Ooh. This bar's not the best for it. It's a little iffy. That bar is better because it's a locked in. 